In Excel, you often need to combine multiple Excel sheets into one. For example, you might have monthly sales tabs that you need to combine into one larger master tab, or you might have multiple Excel files in one folder that you need to consolidate into one large Excel file. Yet 90% of Excel users don't know how to do this the right way. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you a simple automated solution to solve this problem and save you hours of tedious work. First up, let's suppose we have this Excel file, which you can download for free right below the video. And as you can see, we have three different tabs for the monthly sales in January, February, and March. And we want to consolidate these into a total over here. One way to do this is simply by taking the data and just control shift down, control shift right. So we would select each month, copy, and then paste it in here. Same thing for all of the other tabs. The problem with this method is that it's not dynamic. If something changes in the original data here, it's not going to update in the totals. And if we have new tabs, they're also not going to be accounted for. So it's not a very good method. Another way to do this is using the VSTAC formula. So equals VSTAC, hit the tab key there. And what this one allows you to do is stack multiple tables. So let's go over to January here. We're just gonna hit the shift key all the way to March. You can see we have the three tabs selected. And if they have the same length, we can just control shift down, control shift right on that first one. And you can see that we've selected from January to March for this range from A2 to F32. We'll close the parenthesis and hit enter there. So here under totals, we have the fully consolidated sheet with 94 rows, which is basically the sum of these three. The problem with this is that when we add new data to March, for example, at the very bottom, it's not going to account for it. So let me just put amount here, just for it to test. You'll notice that we don't actually find it, it doesn't grow in values here. So the V stack doesn't quite work either. Same thing goes if we add new tabs, they're not going to be accounted for. As you can see, even though the copy paste and the VSTAC can sometimes work, they're not ideal solutions. So let's go over Power Query, which is what we would use to automate this entirely. So to consolidate this Excel file with these tabs and any future tabs as well, we're gonna open up a new Excel file with Control N. Once we have that, we want to go over to Data under Get Data here from File, we're gonna want from an Excel workbook, which is going to be the original workbook that we're working with, with all of our data. In my case, it's called monthly sales. It might be called something else for you. I'm just gonna hit on import there and Power Query should now pop up. As you can see it over here, we have the three different tabs for each month and we can just select on one and just click on transform data. So here we are in the Power Query editor, but we're only working with January. So we actually under applied steps over here, we wanna go back to the source, which is gonna be the beginning. So let's X those. And once we're at the source, we can see that we have the three different tabs over here. That's what we wanna work with. We don't really need any of these columns over here to the side. So let's go ahead and select them, right click and click on remove columns. Great, now we just wanna expand all of the data here by clicking on that and hitting on OK. Here, you can see all of our data. You'll notice though that we have for each of the new sheets, there's going to be the whole header row again and same thing down on the bottom. So let's first just add the header row to the top part. And for this, we can simply go over to for use first row as headers, just click on that and we can rename this one over here to the month. Hit enter there, and you'll still notice that we have these rows that we don't quite want. So we can just filter those out by going to this drop down over here. And whenever it says brand, we don't want that and hit on okay there. You can see all of our steps are being applied to the side and we no longer have the header row anywhere in our data set. Now we can just click on close and load. Awesome, now if we click on this drop down, you can see that it's merged January, February and March into one single table. From here, let's suppose that the April data comes in. Let's see if it's able to account for that. 
So let's go over here to our original Excel file. Let me just go ahead and add a new tab just by duplicating this and calling this April just to see if it's able to account for it. We're gonna hit Control S to save it. And then we'll go back to our new data set over here under the queries and connections, right click and just hit on refresh, which you should find over here. We had 91 rows and now we have 122. That's because if we scroll down, we have all of the April data now as well. Great, now we've learned how to consolidate multiple Excel sheets. And the next step is to consolidate entire Excel files into one large one. Before we do that though, now that we've learned how to manipulate data, the next step for us would be to visualize it. And that's where Power BI comes in, which you can learn it by taking our Power BI for Business Analytics course. Power BI is one of the most popular business intelligence tools. And in our all-inclusive curriculum, we start with data cleaning and transformation using Power Query. Then we get into data visualization tools, followed by DAX or data analysis expressions which is what you would use to build formulas in Power BI. Then to simulate real work scenarios, we'll practice using two extensive case studies. One will focus on building a PNL dashboard from scratch on Nike, while the other will focus on visualizing McDonald's's European restaurant operations. Currently, 97% of Fortune 500 companies use Power BI so if you're looking to invest in yourself, check out the link in the description below. All right, back to the video. At this point, you might think this is all great, but you actually receive all of your Excel data in different files like this over here, where you have one for each month and you just wanna merge it into one consolidated master file. In this type of scenario, the solution is actually fairly similar. So we would just go over to a new Excel sheet under data again, get data, and under from file, before we did from an Excel workbook, but we now want from a folder. Go ahead and find the folder where it's located. In my case, it's over here. Just gonna click on open there. What it's gonna do is it's gonna find the three different Excel sheets that there are in it, and we can simply combine them. In this case, I'm just gonna hit on combine and load, as I don't wanna make any changes to them. I'm gonna select the data and I'm just gonna hit on OK. Give it a few seconds and you'll be able to see all of the data merged over here. You can see under source name, we have all three Excel files included. Now, if we were to add a fourth Excel file to this folder, just gonna duplicate it over here. Let me call this something like April. As long as all of these headers are the same, now if I just click on refresh up over here, I should get the April Excel file as well. So you can see that we now have the April 24 Excel sheet included in here as well. Awesome. This new trick is hopefully going to save you hours of time when working with data. Now that you've learned how to manipulate it, the next step is to visualize it, which you can learn how to do with this video over here to make an interactive dashboard or by taking our Excel course over here. Hit the like and that subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.